So there folks, welcome back to Lords of Football. The transfer window will close after the next match. We've already got our orders in place. Everyone's coming out onto the exercises except for one person by the looks of things. Who's this? Alpha Loss. Is he still... Where's he going? Oh, is he going for some dribbling training? Let's take him off dribbling. Let's put him on this exercise so everyone can actually get playing and then we'll sort out everyone that's left. Um... Pacal, Pascal, even. Fourth Wind. What is wrong, Fourth Wind? What do you need? Slight alcohol addiction. Not much, though. I wouldn't have thought that would have been enough to trigger it, but there you go. Um, alcohol. Boom. Sorted. That's him taken care of. Anything else we need to be aware of? You're all working. There's a guy there. There's a guy there. That's 24 guys. It should be everyone. It should be everyone. I'm pretty sure 24 guys is how many guys we've got. Uh, right. What do we need to look at? Competitions. We defeated the Liverpool Griffins 1-0, which was very good. Um, our next match... Oh, in fact, is it even... Is it even? So, our next match is presumably the English Cup second round. Which is the Blackpool Dolphins. We went in the first round, obviously. We were in the second round. Blackpool Dolphins versus Dirtsville United. Oh, maybe it's this match we're doing today, then. I wonder how good the Blackpool Dolphins are. Are they from our, are they from our division? The Blackpool Dolphins? No. They're not, which means they're probably from Division 2, which means we should be able to defeat them, no problem. Uh, we're currently in second, although, you know, technically joint first. They're only winning on the goals, which they've scored four more than us. Uh, because our guys are shit at scoring goals, unfortunately. Newcastle Magpies are the people in the lead, uh, with the Gunners just behind us. Manchester Reds, Wigan Kings... The usual suspects. London Blues not doing too good this season. Griffin's not doing good after we gave him a bit of a kick in. And the Eagles right down the bottom as well. So our main competition looks like it's Newcastle and Arsenal for this, this season. Although, Manu, doing well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, potentially a cup match today. That'll be nice. We haven't had a cup match for a long, long time. Um, and as far as I can tell, we're only in the English Cup as well, not the Euro one. Can we can we access the Euro Cup? Um, oh, we are in it. Oh my god. We are in the Euro Cup as well. We'll be playing against the Limassol Birds at some point in the future. God knows when that actually takes place. Oh my god. Exciting stuff all around. So we've got two Cups and a League to attempt this season. Uh, our chances are pretty fucking slim. <laughs> the cup matches are hard as shit. Doesn't matter how good your team is, you always seem to play really crap and lose. Um, so yeah, there is that. So yeah, that must be our next match then. I'm just not sure why the transfer market shows before it rather than after it, but never mind, whatever. We're not going to worry too much about it. Let's get some fast forwarding going and then we can get people out on the nightlife. Uh, fourth Wind has pretty much just finished his punishment. Um, is there anything specific we should think about doing with him? We can benefit from pretty much everything, really. I don't suppose it matters. What we really want to do is put him back on this exercise and swap him for... Hmm... Probably Arthur. Where's Arthur? There he is. Come here, Arthur. I'm going to take you off, stick you on dribbling, and put fourth wind on instead. Let's have a quick look at Arthur's stats. He's actually got 18 dribbling, which is not bad. 93 creativity. Position in 83. I think dribbling and position are probably two of the things he needs to work on the most. Other than that, his speed isn't fantastic either. I guess we could give him some speed training as well. 
Oh well, we'll leave him on the dribbling for now. I set up to level 3. I might give him a, a few points in that, maybe, if we're lucky. Let me close that thing. How fast is he filling up? Not particularly fast at all. If we're lucky, he'll get one point out of this. Oh, that is some slow training. That's level 3 training as well. That is pretty dire. There he goes. 81. Took most of the day to get him one point in dribbling on level 3 training. That's ridiculous. That's why it takes so long to train everybody up. There we go. Training hours are over. Right. Let's get this night shift sorted and we'll get out there and have hopefully a really good match. Um, let's start with the reserves for today. Sex. Yeah, I think it's pretty much guaranteed we're going to be having a sex day. So let's go swap the pub uh, onto speed dating. We'll stick him in there. Uh, you're okay. You could probably do with the sex as well, Rose. There we go. Terrawin. Uh, Rowan, I guess we'll bring Rowan over here. Gotta be careful because you're gonna hold so many people in here, and pretty much everyone's gonna want it. That's the problem. Liam. I suppose we could always turn the nightclub over to pole dancing as well if we really, really need to. Fourth wind. Amphalos, you're okay. You definitely need to be over here, but also in there. Okay, we'll leave you in there for a sec. Peterson, you're fine. Right. See, quite a few of these guys are okay. Not too bad at all. We need to move Tore over. Paul Grant definitely needs to move over. Uh, Ego. Ego for Manuel Perea. Sat there pumping all his money into the slot machines. No, sir. Get in there. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You probably want some sexy time. Neil. There we go. You want ego, I guess. There was three of them in the fan club. And Arthur, sexy times. Why are you just stood over there? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he just stood there? Why didn't he leave? What a weirdo. Holy shit. There we go. We got everybody in. We got everybody in on decent activities. Not sure why Arthur didn't leave for the day. He just sort of wandered over there and, and stayed there. That's very odd. I've not seen that happen before. I mean, we definitely blew the whistle. Everyone else marched off into the locker room and got changed. He just sort of stood by the pitch for no reason whatsoever. Maybe he just really wanted to do some more training. Maybe he's really stoked about the cup match. He really wants to show off his skills. He better play well now. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, the Blackpool Dolphins are pretty terrible. This should be a bit of a stomping. Um, we are playing away. However, I can't see that affecting us too much. We should kick these guys' ass. Oh, my God. Did not realise they were so... So shit. They have Latour. Doesn't that mean the killer in French? <laughs> I'm just trying to think what that means. I, I'm, I, I think that means the killer. It's a very odd name. Uh, our team's our team's pretty good. Perea is the lowest, but that's okay. We can always swap him out for Peterson or Watson. Um, 
Oh, we're wearing our wake it as well. You don't see that very often. That's nice. I like wearing our wake it now and again. Oh, come on, Luke. Oh, that filthy foul. We should we should be beating these guys like 4-0, I would say. Um, I can't see any reason why we shouldn't defeat them massively. I mean, look at this. That was a terrible pass. Oh, that was not offside. Come on. That's some bullshit. We should really be hammering in the goals. We probably won't do, because fucking Derpsville, everyone, but... Come on, don't let Latua score. Fucking hell. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to play really bad, aren't we? We're going to lose. We're going to lose these guys. They'll slip one goal past us right at the end, and that'll be it. We'll be fucked. These passes, these passes are appalling. The tackles aren't too bad, though. At least we've got some decent tackling going on. But these passes are shit. That's, come on, Luke. Come on! That's in. Yep. Good work, son. Good work. Good old po-faced <laughs> Luke. He's never going to be fucking happy, is he? <coughs> Nothing ever cheers him up. I want to sort of keep an eye on Perea. But Grant as well. We might have to sort both of those guys out. We might have to bring Peterson and Watson on. I think we're probably going to do that, you know. Come on. Come on. Let's have some goals. Let's have some goals. Ericsson. Oh, cheeky. Very nice. Okay, I think we've found our momentum now. That was our guy that headed that away. That was ridiculous. But here comes Torre. Oh, off the shoulder as well. Crazy. Oh well. Good good work. Good work, Torre Eriksson. You have scored a goal. Good job. Question is whether they'll be able to score and pass us. I bet you would they will. I bet you they'll hammer one in from somewhere. Oh, Perea. Are you getting carded? Right. Well, that, that makes that decision then. Let's get him off. Let's fucking get him off. Oop, what did I do? Uh, let's swap Perea for... I guess Watson. And then we'll keep an eye on Paul Grant. And swap him for Peterson. Probably in the second half. Unless he, unless Paul Grant gets carded or anything. And we need to take him off. We've got to take him off. Because if he gets red carded. He's out for the, like, the rest of the cup matches I think. I think this only counts towards the cup matches. And obviously in the cup matches. We really want to be at our best. And we want our A team at all times. We don't want to be using backups and subs. If we can help it. I mean, obviously, against these guys, it doesn't matter. We can sub him off. It's not a problem because these guys are shit and we can probably hammer them no matter what. But we don't want to be coming up against, you know, someone strong in the final and we can't use Perea because he's been fucking carded. That was a ridiculous shot. There was no way that was going to go in. That was from way too far away. Frame rate suddenly dropping as well. I'm not sure what's going on there. The frame rate's having a real tough time of it today. It seems to be mainly when it's down that end. It just went back up to 30. I'm not sure what's going on there. Who knows? Come on, guys. Let's, let's have one more before the end of the first half. That was not offside. Fuck you. Come on, let's have one. Let's have a goal. What was the keeper doing all the way over there? Holy shit. Why is their keeper taking their fucking kicks on the side? This is very dangerous. I and mean, obviously we're too dumb to capitalise on it, but... Fucking hell, if this was a player management game, I would have fucking took the ball and just hammered it past him. I'd be like, go run, go run to the ball. Come on, come on, Luke. We can do this. We can do this. Watson. Oh, Luke, it's there. Come on, push forward, you fucking idiots. That's it. You've got space. Oh. What a bell end. He doesn't like this side. Something over this side is dropping the frame rate. 
and I don't know what. It's really weird. How are we doing? We'll let Paul Grant drop just past half and then we'll bring Peterson on. So you've got a small chance to redeem yourself, Paul. Come on. Don't make me regret it. That's good. That was a good feed. It's not in, though. Oh, you bellend. That keeper. Oh! That was close. Close, but no cigar. The thing is, we're only winning 2-0 against a team that in reality we should be fucking stomping all over. There's no way these guys should be, like, outpassing us like this. It upsets me. It upsets me that we're not doing... Although we're doing... Whoa, what the fuck was that? <laughs> it upsets me that although, you know, although we're winning, we should be winning much better than this. It's not... It doesn't reflect well on our chances for the rest of the cup. Like, look at that. Fucking Marcel. What an idiot. Oh my god. Come on, push forward already. Jesus Christ, stop with the fucking crappy passing. Just push. There we go. Oh, what was that? Oh, should we take Paul Grant off? They're bringing on the diver. <laughs> the diver, as, as in... Oh god, he just takes a dive when anyone touches him. I have to watch out for him. We'll take this free kick and then I'll put in the order to take Paul Grant off. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, the diver. Right, let's do it. Let's put the order in. Uh, Paul Grant coming off for... Peterson. Peterson. And show us a bit of the old Peterson magic, maybe. Ooh. That was an interesting move. Does anyone get into that? Come on, that's in. Come on, yes! Okay. 3-0. Good. That's a, at least we're going home with a definite victory now. There's no way they can, they can undo that. Peterson's coming on. Luke's heading, uh, not Luke, who's heading off? Um, Paul Grant. Paul Grant's heading off. Peterson's strolling onto the pitch. Luke is actually rocking a 10 rating, which is pretty impressive. Can we get any more? We've got 30 minutes left to go. We could potentially score another two. I think it's going to be hard, but it's not impossible. I want to save our last sub in case anybody gets carded. Because we don't want anyone picking up a red. That would be really nasty. The diver is taking the kick. That was quite a good kick. Oh! Fuck you. Get that ball. Oh my god. That was a bit intense. That fucking diver with his massively long kicks. Jesus. These guys really want to win. They're rocking three strikers now. Look at this. And the vain hope that they might get some goals out of it. Oh, it was a terrible pass, Arthur. And that was a shitty foul. Come on, guys. 20 minutes. Let's, let's, oh, yes. Run, run, run. Fucking stop dicking about. Oh my god, you bell end. You absolute bell end. Oh my god, that was the worst. He had all that space. He could have just ran up, given the keeper a little, you know, side to side, and then boom, slip it past him. But they don't. Instead, they just fuck it up by passing when they don't need to pass or, like, fucking. Oh, taking shots from miles away and stuff. 
He was past all the defenders. He wasn't offside. He could have just ran, ran down into the box. This looks promising. Come on. Luke A. No. Peterson. Oh. It's a good effort, Peterson. You were at a bad angle for it, but I appreciate that you made the effort. I think we're going home 3 0, which is still obviously brilliant, don't get me wrong, but wouldn't it have been nice to just 5 0 these guys? Come on. Come on, this could be 4. That was, a, that was a terrible header. There was no power behind that whatsoever. It was literally just a fucking reflection off his head. There's the whistle. Well, 3 0, that's not terrible. Uh, Ericsson picked up a goal. Luke got 2, that's pretty good. Uh, Luke got man of the match. Fair dues to him. He did score two goals. Um, I feel like Ericsson was probably, yeah, he had the second highest score. Uh, he did very well. And that's that's the end of the first the first cup English cup match. Um, obviously, we go through off the back of that to the next round. Um, so this should be the transfer market. So this should be our new players. And obviously, at the start of next episode, we'll have to rejig the... What do you call it? Uh, right, what have we got? Christian Ulkish. Ulkish? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this fucking shit. Uh, central midfielder, reserved and friendly teetotal. Julio De Silva. Very nice. Central midfielder, warm-hearted, quiet and fitness buff. He might be quite good. And that's it. We only got two people. And we sold three. So now we're down to 23 men. You see now what, how hard it is to actually get the bloody... Um, the 25 men on your team. It's so hard. It's only given us two people. And I'm pretty sure we sold three. Although I could be wrong. We might have just sold two. How many did I put on? No, I'm sure I sold three people. We'll soon find out. Because we'll know how many people we've got, won't we? As soon as it fucking loads. Transfer market is over. Julio de Silva's joined the team. Uh, what do I want to look at? Let's quickly, just quickly open the tactical editor. Um, what I want is the full list of people. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Oh, that's just the people on the team. Uh, what about... There we go. Uh, so we've got 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, we're down to 23 people. We've lost someone. Ugh, brilliant. Never mind. I don't suppose it matters too much. We had so many midfielders, but we are going to have to rejig all this. But I'm going to do that next episode. Uh, so for now, I'm going to leave it here, folks. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.